now we are going to discuss the functioning of heart and for that I am making the diagram of heart again. So as we have discussed earlier, the heart is going to represent a conical, a conical muscular organ. going to be a cone shape. It is a conical muscular organ which is going to consist of four chambers. Upper two chambers, they are going to represent the auricles. And the lower two chambers, they are going to be ventricles. This part of the heart, this is the left part and this is going to represent the right part. Left part and right part, they are going to be separate which is going to represent the septum. So, this is going to represent the septum. This is going to represent the left auricle. This is left ventricle. So this one, this is going to be the upper chamber, this is right hand side of the heart, this is going to represent the right auricle. So this one, right auricle, the lower chamber on the right hand side, lower chamber on the right hand side, this is going to represent the right ventricle. The left hand side of the heart is always going to carry the oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood that is the blood which is going to be rich in oxygen and the right hand side of the heart is going to carry the deoxygenated blood, the blood which is going to be deficient in oxygen or it is going to be rich in carbon dioxide. So left hand side of the heart, this one, this is going to carry the oxygen rich. Oxygen rich or you can say the oxygenated blood. Right hand side of the heart is going to carry the deoxygenated blood. Such 
circulated blood oxygenated blood is going to be transferred to this to these blood vessels these blood vessels they are going to represent the pulmonary veins so i'm labeling it here these blood vessels they are going to represent the pulmonary veins from the pulmonary veins to the auricles from the auricles to the ventricles from the auricles to the ventricles and from the ventricles to the aorta yes this one this one is going to represent the aorta and from the aorta this oxygenated blood is going to be supplied it is going to be transferred to the different body parts now in the different body parts this blood is going to be utilized the oxygen present in the blood is going to be utilized so the blood is going to become oxygen deficient it is now going to contain the carbon dioxide and this blood is going to represent the deoxygenated blood so there is a deoxygenated blood from the body tissues now it is going to be picked up by the veins the deoxygenated blood is going to be picked up by the veins and the large size veins they are going to be known as vena cava so these structures these blood vessels which are formed here these are going to represent the vena cava vena cava so from the body tissues the deoxygenated blood it is going to be drained to the vena cava right so from the body tissues the deoxygenated blood is going to be drained to the vena cava is going to drain the blood into the right part of the heart that is the upper chamber which is the right auricle so the blood is going to be transferred to the right auricle from the right auricle the deoxygenated blood is going to be transferred to the right ventricle from the right ventricle it is going to be transferred to this blood vessel this is going to represent the pulmonary artery this is the pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery is going to transfer this blood to the lungs and in the lungs this deoxygenated blood is going to be converted into the oxygenated form so this blood vessels what it is going to represent this is going to represent the pulmonary pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery is going to drain the blood to the lungs and in the lungs this blood it will undergo the oxygenation or you can say purification so now we have to discuss the three phases of the cardiac cycle the three phases of the cardiac cycle it is going to represent the joint diastole then it is the auricular systole then it is the ventricular systole so the first phase of the cardiac cycle that is the joint diastole which is going to remain for 0.4 seconds in the joint diastole all the four chambers they are going to be present in the relaxed state what do you mean by diastole there is going to be relaxation joint diastole means all the four chambers they are present in the relaxed state due to the joint diastole now what is going to happen the blood from the lungs is lungs is going to be transferred to the pulmonary veins from the pulmonary veins to the left auricle from the left auricle to the left ventricle this is going to happen the same is going to happen here during this cardiac cycle from the vena cava the blood is going to be transferred to the right auricle from the 
right auricle to the right ventricle. So when the joint diastole is going to occur, when all the four channels.